So now the hyperparameter tuning step is complete, which means the autopilot job is complete. And so we've run our 250 tuning jobs. Um, remember those tuning jobs are based on the candidates uh, visible in the uh, candidate generation notebook. Okay, so let's open the AutoML job in the trial component list. And here we see all jobs um, associated to the autopilot job. So some of them are training jobs, some of them are transforming and processing jobs, basically preparing the data sets, uh, using the different um, uh, scripts, etc., etc. So let's just focus on the training jobs. And we see uh, a whole lot of information here. We see metrics, so the objective metric here. I could actually see that my top job has 91.78% accuracy, but I see also other metrics and pretty much all the metadata uh, on that job, all the hyperparameters that were tried out, etc. So I could take a, a specific look at this one, open it again, keep zooming. So zooming in on this high performing job, I can see the different stages involved, so uh, pre-processing data, training, etc. I can see metrics, I can see hyperparameters, I can see artifacts, uh, settings for the uh, for the job, etc., etc. All right, so you can zoom in and um, and literally find any bit of information on your jobs. Uh, I guess what we want to do maybe is compare. Let's pick a few jobs here and uh, add chart um, and select new chart here. Uh, these are pretty short jobs, so we don't really have time series available here, but we have summary statistics. So maybe we can build a scatter plot comparing, um, let's say, validation accuracy max to training accuracy max and color the graph with the trial names. So I selected the top job, so of course they're all uh, really close to one another, but if I keep zooming, like so, let's zoom in a bit, again, again, again. All right, okay, so I can see one of them has a really high training accuracy. Uh, this is my top job here when it comes to validation accuracy. So, you know, maybe it's worth taking a look at those in more detail, maybe those three uh, that seem to be close and, and interesting. Maybe you want to uh, uh, investigate further. Maybe you want to do cross-validation on those. Maybe you want to do ensemble predictions. So, you know, you could see, okay, these are the three that probably make sense in this case. Uh, and uh, and you, you would easily find their name. And you can compare, you know, you've seen the list of metrics that are available here, right? So quite a lot. So uh, you could compare that with their uh, hyperparameters, etc. Uh, and maybe I'll show you uh, more visualization in uh, in another video. But here I just want to give you a quick uh, a quick tour of, of the service. Um, and so this is how you would do it. And then of course the the last step would be um, hey pick this top job and let's deploy it. So. Uh, well, let's deploy it. So it's going to be called uh, marketing AutoML uh, top model. And I'm going to deploy it on uh, MLM5. Why not? And hey, let's uh, save. Let's save um, prediction requests and prediction responses. And this is uh, another service called SageMaker. Um, a model monitor and um, it's going to capture data and then you can configure um, uh, data, real-time data analysis versus a baseline that you prepared and that would warn you of problems like data drift or missing features etc. So uh, we would just provide an S3 pass here right and, uh, and, uh, and click on deploy right something like that and click on deploy and then the model gets deployed and you can use it just like any other model right so i guess i'm going to show you that step in uh, in another video because i want to discuss a model monitor and uh, and uh, it's a really really another really cool service but uh, here you could just enable it super simply with those those two uh, those two clicks 
Right, and so I guess that's the end of the, the SageMaker Autopilot demo for now. And, uh, and I hope you learned a few things. And please feel free to, uh, to ask questions in the comments or, or you can ping me on Twitter. I also added the uh, links to the blog post in the video description, so you might like that. Um, anyway, all questions welcome, and I hope uh, this was informative. All right, see you later.